Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is the BGSF Minecraft server. And uh, once again, the vanilla map and our uh, two map server has been reset. And so this is what I've done so far to uh, get restarted. Although I didn't quite actually do much in the previous map anyways, so I am actually have made more progress in just a few hours than all of my uh, messing around on the previous map. But uh, we're going to go to spawn because that's where uh, most things are interesting so far. Okay, this appears to be the spawn. I have not been here since uh, since just a couple of days since it first happened. Okay. Uh, threat. It's interesting. And uh, on our dynamic map, I've taken a look at, it appears to be an iron golem, uh, this uh, pathway, it's, I can't remember what I was calling it, but there was, in the old 1.8 map, there was some kind of, uh, was it the highway, was it the, I forgot what I called it, but this goes for quite a long ways that way, but uh, we're going to check out this immediate area, this is the beginner spawn. That's interesting. I might take up that offer on some food because I don't have any kind of farm situation going on. Basically, this is my last of the last food I have. Or actually, I think I have some more chicken. So I'll probably stop and kill something along the way. But there's a Morrowind fan's house. That's the only house I know for sure who belongs to. Though I think I have to go this way. It looks like some kind of stone igloo, I guess. And this goes down here, I guess. And everyone, I think, is trying to take full advantage of the new wood types and still trying to figure out what looks good. I don't really think uh, anyone's quite... At least I haven't done anything that's been able to aesthetically make uh, the new wood interesting. I mean, it's interesting as it is, I just haven't done anything interesting with it so far. And there's various farms. This is uh, Morrowind fans. Oh, cats. Is there just one? You must be planning on breeding them. Uh, this is uh, Morrowind fans. Or actually, he's not called Morrowind fan on the server. He's called something else. I forget what. Uh, something about corn, retro corn, that's right. And uh, this is his style of farm stuff. Some kind of town hall? It looks pretty nice. I think we could uh, use this air, this uh, spawn town as a werewolf village. That would be very convenient. It would save me the trouble of having to build a village from scratch. Or begin working on the werewolf mansion. Which I don't think I'll do only for now since I don't think this... In fact, I know this map is not permanent. Because I know that they want to uh, take advantage of the uh, of a map that has uh, generated terrain that takes full advantage of the height. So once mount huge mountains are spawned or generated, they'll want to change the map. I don't think it's necessary, but we're in disagree disagreement about that. Come on, let me up. Uh, this is Lydia Mai and uh, Kakra's house. It's kind of a tower thing going on. They found a way to uh, uh, minimize the amount of stairs they use. Or, I mean, ladders. This, uh, this reminds me a little bit of the... Uh, the, uh, the, the, what, what was it, the weather observation tower I built way, way back when I first started playing, uh, on the BGSF server on the 1.7 map. We've been having a little bit of, uh, connection issues, networking issues with our, uh, server right now. So, there's occasionally some weird lag. I've got cats. I have not yet 
actually gone to a jungle and uh, messed around with ocelots on this server and or anywhere else. So let's see, that's uh, Retro Corn's place. So we'll go over here. It's very nice of whoever to make a network of roads here. It makes it very easy for me to go places. I plan on building a uh, a house here as well. I'm not sure whose house this is, but I'm about to find out. Maybe it's turn the pages. Yeah, turns the page. Okay. I don't see a forest around here. Now oh, what's down here? Probably some kind of farm. Yeah. Oh, he's just got... I noticed a lot of people have been doing that. Uh, just placing the four blocks next to each other, I guess, just to look at them. Maybe it's the first place that they uh, put them to compare. I don't know. There's one near my immediate area, which I share with Lego God. Uh, and this is his bedroom. So... Well, it turns the pages actually found a nice way to incorporate all of the different types of wood. And take a look over here. This will probably be a slightly longer video, but uh, it's the way that the uh, the server map's longevity has been. I think it's best just to uh, Mr. Tank jump. So this is this is Mr. Tank. What what would equi uh, I can't say that word. Equivalate. This is what would equals to. Um, uh, Daniel Rose has just left the game. I gotta find a way to say this uh, sentence right. Uh, this is Mr. Tank jump's house, or what? would be represented as house. He doesn't really actually play Minecraft. He's our admin. In fact, the fact that he would build a house for himself and sort of mine down is uh, surprising. Usually he just flies around AF or just floats somewhere AFK. This is Bone Monster's house. I think I've seen this. Which is fine because uh, Mr. Tink Jump does a lot for the server. Okay, I screwed that up. Uh, I guess he shares it with Mr. Tank Jump, but I must connect. I don't know to which extent. I'm assuming uh, Bone Monster built most of this because of the admin. He, of all our admin that we've had, uh, he enjoys actually building stuff. He actually plays Minecraft quite a lot. Well, that looks weird. Uh, my voice is a little bit uh, weird, and I seem uh, a little bit tired or something. It is because I just got back from exercising. So my muscles are a little bit weary, including my voice. Because I scream or size. I scream while I exercise. Non-stop. And uh, we'll take a look at this place next. I guess you enter it from below. Danielle's house. Looks like some kind of branch mining I just saw there through uh, a glitch. I won't take any of this stuff. Uh, I don't know what that's about. To the upstairs. Oh, what? Screw you, Enderman. Jerk. Oh, that looks cool. I want to see that here in a minute. Some kind of farm stuff over here. To the basement. I can go ahead and eat the zombie flesh, I suppose. Yeah, well, yeah, this is what I, what I mean when I was saying, uh, the networking issues with the server. Oh god. We've been having glitches with doors where you can't go through them. 
and I'm just going to uh, stop recording here and just start recording once I figure out how to get out. Okay, five minutes later, I've somehow managed to get through this door. It's really annoying, that, that glitch. I'm pretty sure it's just related to networking issues we're having with our server. Spare blocks and general storage. Okay. Oh. We have creeper damage turned off, so it's no problem. Looks like uh, they're having some kind of, someone's building some kind of community stuff. Although I don't think it's being quite utilized yet. More someone came and took everything. It appears to still be under construction. That's interesting, what they've done with the blocks, though. They certainly could have done uh, some better patterns, though, now with the, uh, what we can do with uh, stair blocks. Oh, come on, not again. Bad, 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 bad. This is bad. Come on. That's a good thing that creeper damage is turned off. Let's see if I'll be able to actually get through this door. Alright. And was that everything? I think so. Well, I want to actually take a look at uh, an area over in this direction that I know that Mr. E is working on. And I've seen it from our dynamic map, and it looks really weird. It's a giant circle. Okay, and he told me that he was going to make some kind of uh, crater with uh, a floating island in the middle. So it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. Still a work in progress. I wonder, he must be using some kind of diagram to know how to make it a perfect cir circle. But, yeah, it looks interesting. It'll be pretty cool once it's uh, done. <laughs> yeah, is that a jungle? So there must be a jungle really close by. That's interesting. I didn't know that there was a jungle within close proximity. But anyways, uh, that's all that I'm going to show in this video. Yeah, he's using torches to mark the boundary here. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll at some point do more videos of uh, the server, uh, TechIt and uh, Vanilla, as well as uh, the Mirgloff Builds videos. Although, with those, I'll do them as frequently as I can, but uh, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. So I'm not always having time to do the editing process or the preparation for filming it. But uh, thanks for watching, and see you later. Mm -hmm.